A mother accused of torturing her five-year-old daughter. Five years old. Yeah, it's just amazing when you think about it. San Antonio police also arrested the child's mother and her boyfriend. It's one of the most horrific and extreme child abuse cases ever seen in Bear County. Five-year-old Mercedes Lasoya killed by what investigators say was extreme physical abuse and torture. One of the suspects in the case, her mother's boyfriend, is now heading for trial. This is open court, the Jose Ruiz trial. At 7.02 p.m., Katrina Mendoza walked into Southwest General Hospital with her daughter, Mercedes Lasoya, unresponsive. Doctors and nurses immediately started performing life-saving measures, but at 7.18, just 16 minutes later, Mercedes was pronounced dead. Police were immediately called in to investigate, and what investigators saw when they arrived has been described as extreme physical abuse. The affidavit in the case lists in detail the injuries to Mercedes, the detective saying, quote, had visible bruises, scratches, cuts, and swelling on almost every visible portion of her body. Her head, ears, neck, throat, torso, back, arms, elbows, wrists, ankles, feet, and toes all had some sort of injury. The investigation immediately began and what police learned was horrendous. Katrina was detained and Jose Ruiz, her boyfriend, was found outside the hospital sitting in his vehicle. After a brief conversation, he was detained as well. Katrina was interviewed first and she told police that about three weeks prior, she called her boyfriend and told him she needed help punishing Mercedes. He came over, picked her up, and took her back to his place. A few days later, when she sees Mercedes again at Jose's place, she says she saw bruising on her face and moaned in pain when she tried to pick her up. Katrina says her and her other daughter eventually moved in with Jose and the alleged abuse would continue. She says in some instances, Jose would make Mercedes eat dog feces, would wear rings on his fingers and then hit her in her face and body. When Jose was questioned about the abuse, he says he did punish her by spanking her or putting her in the corner, but that it was Katrina who was abusing her and her six-year-old sister would pull her hair out. Jose eventually stopped talking to investigators and requested a lawyer. Later, investigators would question Mercedes' six-year-old sister, who would go on to provide details that were consistent to what Katrina said. Other things the little girl did mention was that Jose would allegedly beat Mercedes with the buckle part of a belt or would take thumbtacks from the wall and push them into the bottom of her feet. A couple days later, both Katrina Mendoza and Jose Ruiz were arrested and charged with injury to a child, serious bodily injury, intentionally and knowingly, a first-degree felony. Several months later, they were both indicted on 13 counts of injury to a child. The legal process now began in the 187th District Court. Eventually, Ruiz would not accept a plea deal and would be headed for trial. As for Mendoza, she did accept a plea deal in exchange for her testimony against Ruiz. Per that deal, her sentence cannot be more than 45 years. Last year, after a hearing, Mercedes' great-grandmother spoke to us about wanting justice for her. I mean, there was no reason for them to do this to her. No reason at all. You know, she was a loving, 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 loving great-granddaughter. She would not even hurt a fly. She would, she would always helpful. They sit there like nothing. Jose, Angel Ruiz, and Katrina Mendoza, her mother. They sit there like not even to say, hey, I'm sorry, not even a tear in their eyes. But they're pleading for lessons. Come on, you know, after what they did to my great-granddaughter, torture her. You know, they hurt her and they hurt us, you know, day by day. I wish she was here with us. And I hope that they sit there in jail and pay for everything they did to Mercedes. I am going to be here for Mercedes. I'm, I'm going to fight to the end. I'm going to sit there. And I want him to know, and every time Katrina, her, their mother comes to court, I'm gonna sit there and I want to see the pain that they, that they cause us. I want justice. I want them to, to sit in jail for life, in prison. 
And we will see if justice will be served as Jose Ruiz's trial will begin this week. KSAT 12 will be live streaming this case gavel to gavel. You can watch it on KSAT.com, KSAT Plus, or KSAT's YouTube channel. Ruiz is facing up to life in prison if he is found guilty. Details of this case will be hard for the jury to hear and see, but it's all important as they will be the ones to decide if Ruiz is guilty or not guilty. Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News.